If you've updated to iOS 26, there's a cool new feature in Apple Music you've got to check out. It's called Auto Mix. Auto Mix is a new feature in Apple Music that automatically blends one song into the next, kind of like what a DJ does at a party. Instead of songs stopping and starting one after another, Auto Mix makes the transitions smooth, so the music flows continuously. It uses smart technology to match the rhythm and timing of each track, so it feels like one long, seamless playlist. It's great for background music during gatherings, workouts, or even just relaxing, and it's really easy to turn it on or off in the Apple Music app. Firstly, before we hop into the Apple Music application, you'll want to open the settings on your device. Then go over to the General section, and then Software Update. This Auto Mix is a new feature which Apple has introduced with iOS 26, so you'll have to make sure that your iPhone runs this software update or newer. I'm already on iOS 26, so I'll exit my Settings app, and then I'll open the Apple Music application. Our job now is to start listening to any playlist which you want, and I'll play this mix by my favorite rapper, Eminem. Tell me in the comments down below which artist is your favorite and why. So, in order to be able to enable or disable Auto Mix, you'll have to play any type of playlist, whether that playlist was created for you or by someone else. Now, we'll have to open the Now Playing page where you see all of the different songs in the playlist, and the top of your screen will contain buttons like the shuffle, repeat, and similar, but with iOS 26, there's this new button called Auto Mix. So you can tap on this button once in order to enable or disable the feature. When Auto Mix is enabled, your music will play continuously without any gaps between songs. It smoothly blends one song into the next, like a DJ mixing tracks at a party. This makes listening more enjoyable and keeps the music flowing without any interruptions. So that's it for this video, everyone. Make sure you check out the iOS 26 playlist from the description of this video for more helpful tutorials like this one, and I will see you soon.